How is everybody doing? Nomad here. In today's video, I wanted to go over an open world survival crafting game that has been out for a while on the Epic Game Store, but it just released on Steam. This title, you guys probably know what I'm talking about by now, but this is Void Train. Have you ever wanted to be in a dreamlike state? The steampunk artwork consuming each environment is cruising around on a train that's on a track that's just floating into the abyss. Well, this is Void Train. If you've ever played Raft and you like the elements of Raft, where you're on a movable object and you have to jump off of it grab resources whether that be with a grappling hook or with your hand bring it back to the vehicle in this case being a train then this is a title for you this game is super fantastic from the artwork to the story and the narrative i think they did a really good job and for it to be an early access it's absolutely beautifully done i was blown away by the interactive cutscenes and the numerous different kinds of animations that you can encounter throughout the world whether that be reloading there's multiple reload animations there's multiple multiple animations for interacting with different pieces in the environment. It truly is a fun game. Now, would I consider it an open world survival crafting game? Not necessarily. You're stuck to a linear path. The gameplay loop is what we've come to know from these kind of games, but it can be a little repetitive. Now, Raft allowed you to go left, right, in any direction you can. In this title, you can only go forward and back, obviously, because you're on a train. Is that a completely make or break thing? In my opinion, it is not. I could see why it could get boring for some people but at the end of the day the crafting in this game and how you progress through the crafting where you unlock a smelter you unlock the ability to cook different things like this and then each of those crafting stations having their own subcategories you can unlock they did it pretty well in my opinion i think it's very well done and i think it's fleshed out and it works its way decently as you progress through the game i will say the initial narrative and the initial story does take a little bit for you to get through it takes some time for you to get through that narrative it's almost like the tutorial sense it takes a little bit for you to get through that to get to the core meaty part of the game but if you're into these style games again if you like raft if you like open world survival crafting games if you want a game where you can just sit down and relax and just enjoy the beautiful environments because guys that is where this game shines is its environments its environments are absolutely insanely beautifully done i have to say and give a one up to hype train digital the developers and the publishers of this title because the environments they created that you're cruising through on the train are unreal like they are super unreal and you feel like you're in a dream one environment was a bunch of bow and arrows in the sky gigantic bow and arrows coming at me and i was just going through their path it almost felt like a war scene another one is just a dark gritty area with floating weird alien like stone structures everywhere it just varies and the environments vary enough for me to stay and keep playing and i think the gameplay loop can be repetitive but not too bad i think it is fleshed out enough and there is enough here for you to have enjoyment I do recommend playing the game co-op because it can be hard to do all the crafting on your own and make sure that you are maintaining your resources, controlling the train while jumping off and being tethered to it, getting enough resources, as well as getting attacked by enemies and other things like that. I just wanted to make a quick review for Void Train. Again, I know it has been out for a long time on the Epic Games Store, but I usually wait for games to release on Steam. And I completely forgot about this game, but this is a game that I did want to cover here on the channel. And playing it for numerous hours, I've enjoyed it. And I just wanted to showcase to you guys. Let me know if you guys have played Void Train, if you are into this game, if you've kept your eye on it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you are going to get it, potentially. At the end of the day, guys, I would honestly say it is up to you, really. Like, I, I, I can't really say don't get it or get it because... There is no bugs in this game. I have not encountered a single bug, even though it's in early access. The game has zero bugs. I've had zero performance issues. Everything runs completely smooth in the game. No lag, nothing like that. So at the end of the day, if you're into this kind of title and you want to risk it, try it out. Go for it. If you don't, don't. But here's the beauty of it. It's out on Steam now. So if you don't like it, you can get a refund. Let's go, baby. But I appreciate you guys for checking out the video. Subscribe to the channel for more Void Train in the future, as well as all things gaming. I would love to have you in the community. And as always, guys, stay happy, stay hyped, and have a beautiful day.